What's up, everybody? I hope you all have an amazing day. Last night, Bible Bros was absolutely great. We got into Hebrews 12. It was a great chapter. What we usually do for our Bible studies is we'll read a chapter, or however many chapters we read, and we'll pick out a verse, or a few verses, or concept that really stood out to us, and we'll talk about it, and talk about how we can apply it to our lives. And what really stood out to a lot of us is something coming from verses 26 through 29, which I'm about to read. Verse 26, At that time his voice shook the earth, but now he has promised, Yet once more I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates the removal of things that are shaken, that is, things that have been made, in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. So he is saying right here, the, the kingdom of God cannot be shaken. God cannot be shaken. So let us be thankful. So we should be thankful and worship God and cling to him because he can't be shaken. And he's saying, he, he's saying right here, he is going to shake the earth. Everything is going to be shaken, and everything that cannot be shaken is going to remain. And I would definitely say that the earth has been shaken by the coronavirus. I mean, everything is shutting down. People are getting sick. People are dying. All sorts of chaos around the world. But you know what the one thing that isn't getting canceled like everything else is? The power of God. Jesus is not getting canceled. People have been trying for years to cancel Jesus, and they still can't do it. And he is, he is just as powerful now as he was before this happened. So we should be focusing on him. We should be clinging to him because he cannot be shaken. And in a world that tells you, you should, be fo you sh you should focus on being popular, and ha having all the money, having the coolest cars, doing this, doing that, being the best athlete in the world, whatever it is, at some point it's going to be removed. It will not remain forever. Our lives will not even last forever. The only thing that matters is what we do with Jesus. Because at the end of the day, at the end of everything, that is what will remain. So don't waste your time clinging to every all these things that aren't going to last. Jesus is going to last forever. So let's focus on him. Let's cling to him. And I can tell you right now, you will be glad that you will cling to him. You'll be glad if you cling to him because he is so powerful. And he can be so powerful in your life. He has been so powerful in my life. And he can perform so many miracles. And think about this. Everything in the world can get shaken. But if you are in Jesus, you will not be shaken. Because he can't be shaken. And all these things might be... Everything is going to be removed from the earth at some point. But the power of God will never be removed. So let's focus on that. And folk, And... Focus on having everything in your life be a reflection of that. Because that is the only thing that matters. And I heard a quote one time. He said, when God is all you have, you realize God is all that you need. And I could not agree more with that. I mean, we have all these things. And it's not going to last. God is the only thing that lasts. So don't put your focus on having that job. Don't have your focus on doing that, having that accomplishment or having that thing, whatever it is. It's going to pass away, but Jesus is never going to pass away. So let's put our focus on him. And I hope that message blessed you guys. 
And some of y'all might not have that power of God in your life. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is not too late. While everything is getting, everything is getting shaken right now, you can be secure. You can be safe in Jesus. If you don't have Jesus and you would like, and you're thinking, man, I want the power of God in my life. I don't want to be shaken. I want to be, fir I want to be able to stand firm when everything is getting shaken around me. I want to be able to stand still. You can with Jesus. If you would like to make that decision to bring Jesus into your life, you can pray this prayer right now. Wherever you are, you can just, you can just close your eyes and pray something like this. Dear Jesus, thank you for everything that you have done for me. I understand that I am a sinner, but I understand that you are loving and forgiving and I want the power of God in my life. I want to be able to be, sh I want to be able to stand still when everything is getting shaken. And I understand that only comes through you. I hail you as Lord, and I have decided to follow you. And I am clinging to you, I am focusing on you, I'm done focusing on things of the world. They are temporary, but you last forever. So I am dedicating my life to you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. And at that point, you will have the power of God in your life. I don't know what you've done. I don't know what you've had going on. But I promise that the power of God is more secure and more real than anything that you have ever experienced. So give your life to him. Cling to him, focus on him, and you will never be shaken. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. I'm going to have Bible studies next week at 9 o'clock p.m. on Thursday. Be sure to tune in. God bless you guys. Bye.